A purse of over $300,000, and it looks like they're they all go. on gate and ready for the start of this classic. It promises to be a great contest. To the top of the stands now, and the man who will call the action, here's Tom Durkin. And they're off. And toward the inside, Jolly B. Hanover now is away quickly. Cool Pink is off fast early. Singing Strings is also right there. Annie Crombie has come away racing in fourth position. Pacific is parked out fifth. Kitty Wake is away sixth, followed by en route. Armbro Feather is away eighth. And the early trailer is Lavish Laura as the field rounds the first turn. It's Cool Pink on top. Jolly B. Hanover second. And there goes Singing Strings now on the move on the outside from third. The first quarter goes in 27 and four. Hit to the back stretch. Aggressively billowed down. Sends singing strings to the top and on the outside now with a rush here comes Annie Crombie and Annie Crombie now is up to take the lead it's Annie Crombie in front singing strings now back racing in second and Cool Pink now racing in third position Jolly B. Hanover is fourth Kitty Wake is fifth Pacific is now racing sixth now on the outside she's about seven lengths off the lead followed by en route Armbro Feather and Lavish Laura Armbro Feather is last at the half then the half goes in 55 and four fifth seconds and the field moves into the far turn and it is singing strings on top Kitty Wake now with a rock on the outside and there goes Kitty Wake now to take on singing strings and just in behind the Manny Crombie is racing third and Pacific now is picking up the leaders on the outside now racing fourth Cool Pink is now racing fifth toward the rail and route on the outside is now six Johnny B. Hanover is toward the rail and farther back Armbro Feather forced to come three wide for the drive she's still seven lengths out of it three Corners went in 124 and three, and they're set down for the drive. It is singing strings, gamely holding on to the lead. Kenny Wake is right there. Annie Crombie is closing in. Armbro Feather desperately trying to get on the leaders. Singing strings in front and driving hard. Annie Crombie's right there. Armbro Feather with one final lunge as they hit the wire. Annie Crombie and a fast closing Armbro Feather by the back. Singing strings was third. We talked about Dave McGee not being at a disadvantage. What a tremendous drive. They traded the lead back and forth, singing strings with the aggressive drive of Bill O'Donnell. Annie Crombie, Armbro Feather with that big late rush, but it was Annie Crombie in 152 and 3.